if he's Jamaican. Oh, he's no. <laughs> Hey folks, how's it going? We are checking out This Is England. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. So like most movies I go into, I don't know anything about this one. Somebody even told me, make sure I don't read the description because there's even a spoiler in the description as well. The most I'll see sometimes is like the cover of the movie. I try to avoid as much as possible, especially descriptions anyway. So, and like I've always said in the past, I want to go in as clean as possible. I don't want to make any type of like prejudgments or anything on the movie. But since it's a drama, hopefully it's not too sad. I usually stay away from sad movies because I don't like crying. I know a lot of people actually like a good cry and a lot of people don't feel like every movie should end with a happy ending and I definitely get that. But I've never been a really big fan of movies that are so grounded in reality sometimes it just hits too close to home even though i've seen a lot of them i much rather escape reality with like sci-fi goofy comedy things like that every so often i watch a drama movie or like a hood movie or stuff like that but i prefer not to if that makes sense but yeah man i'm looking forward to this hopefully it's not too sad hopefully you guys don't have me walking away for this movie depressed <laughs> like oh man why they pick this movie man but dude i'm definitely I'm, I'm looking forward to it so let's just go ahead and jump into it folks we'll talk about it more at the end Operation of the Socialist State. Piss off. Hey, nice flares, matey. Piss off. <laughs> you, you gonna, gonna buy, buy that? that? I knew he was gonna say yeah. that. You gonna yeah, buy that cute? Come on, bring it over. <laughs> it's not a library, you know. I was freaking reading that. You what? I said I was freaking reading it. Just go. What? Just go. I mean it. A little bad kid. We'll see. All right, I'm going. Oh, and you're banned. Oh, and you're a monk. Giffy! Oi, oi. How many people can you fit in a minute? I don't fucking know how many. Three in the back, two in the front, and you're fucking dad in the ashtray. Oh, no. You fucking oh, Big ass dude. You must use that language. And master's office now. You're drawing a fine line. You're drawing a fine line. No? Bloody hell. Where the frig have you been? Bloody eager. Give me a frig. Took me an hour to get someone to go in for me. You had to wait a bloody hour for that pie. Give me that shit. Yeah. Anyway, Sean, move your seat. What? Move. Judge it, mate. Out of all the places to sit, you want to sit there? Yeah, I do. Come on. What are you asking him for? Move now. You don't have to bloody move. Oh, no. Fuck Fuck well done, well done. Here, yeah. you fucking fat, ain't you, prick? You're a frigging bully gadget. What's this? What's Sean, I want to know what he said about your dad. I've been picked on three times today. Oh, because of my trousers. What's wrong with your trousers? Look at the fucking size of them. There's, stop swearing, will you? There's nothing wrong with them. Your dad bought you them. They're too big for me. <coughs> what do you want, Gadget? You've just nearly put my window through. What do you want to know? If you're coming hunting. Hunting? Why? Because he feels sorry for what happened the other day. And he just wants to know if you're coming out. <laughs> Where are you oh, Come on, get out. Fuck you, Scott. Come on. I can't be doing this, lads. I'm not in the mood for this. I know you are in here, I'm not stupid. Just come out. Those dogs are out. <laughs> oh shit, come on, dude. What's the deal with you, eh? He shot me! I shot you as well! He's a young lad, he's had a fucking bad week. So we bring him in wheels to show him a bloody good time, and you've just frigging backhanded him right ahead. I'm, I'm disappointed, mate. These are all favourites, isn't him? Oh, don't he? He doesn't know what he's saying. No, no, I don't like you, mate. I think you, you're great, it's just. I'm having a shitty time, it's just. I, I've, I've, come on, shake I've hands. I've been where you are before. Come I'm on, going let's, through let's this. Let's this nonsense. This we're like... mates here. Shake his hand. Come oh. on, good lads. Are you ready, Sean? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. They don't seem very confident. Just do it. Your mum's not going to come round, is she? And uh, whack my door down. No, just freaking do it. Right. Here we go. <laughs> Put your head up. You've just told me to put it down the hall. And what on airline girls, eh? <laughs> <laughs> don't forget that bit. I can see it. 
Honestly, mate, it's, it's sterling. Oh, really Please good. Look at that. Oh, no. oh bloody hell, here he is. Hey, look at this. What? Here he is. Sean? Yeah? Come here, please. Yeah, I'll snap you and try I again. just, just want to go straight to bed, Mum. Come here, please. You're two hours late. Please, Mum. Sean, just come here! What have you done to his hair? Oh, I, I did ask him before I did it if, if he was all right with it. Don't you think you should have asked me first? Yeah. I'm sorry. Sean, did I not ask you if it was all right? Yeah, I know, but if he said jump off a cliff, would you do that? I, I would he. I'm sorry, love. No, it's fine. It's, um... I just wanted to thank you, cos he said he's been being bullied at school and you'd helped him out. You're welcome. Yeah, I really appreciate that. See you um, later. See you later. See What's you your name? Nice to meet you. Sorry, what's your name, love? Cynthia. Cynthia. Nice to meet you, no, Cynthia. Nice to meet you all. Sorry, See love. See you a bit, Sean. See you. See you, love. Bye, See you later. later. Bye, Bye mum. Look at the sky. This is perfect, this is. Look at the moonlight. It's beautiful. Like you. God bless him. This kid's making the moves. It's so cute. <laughs> You're a real charmer, you are. Fuck's up? That sounds like the cop is up. Gadge! Gary! 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 Gadge! Hello! <laughs> Get out of fuck oh, out. shit. Who the fuck is this dude? Who the fuck is this dude? Kes, get up. Yeah! Oh, fucking hell! 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 Oh, Look at you, fucking hell. You've blossomed, haven't you, look? How you doing? Super, how are you? I mean, for three weeks, right? This fucking wog, right? Proper horrible. But for three weeks, right? This fella was robbing my pudding. What kind of pudding was it? <laughs> it doesn't matter what pudding it was. That's not the point, the pudding's not the do. point. Have you ever done this before? Done it once, in Germany. In Germany? I can't believe it today. God bless him. It's kind of weird. The gadget's like only a year ahead of him, but didn't you he say that? You might look about so. four, but you kiss like a 40-year-old. You're not sensitive. <laughs> Are you all right? You sure? Do you want me to kiss you again? The hell yeah. I'm trying to suck my tits. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> oh, Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, no, well, you know, I'll suck a little bit of time, but we did end up running things, didn't we? We certainly did. But it was just... But for three weeks, right, this fella was robbing my pudding. What kind of pudding was it? <laughs> it doesn't matter what pudding it was. That's not the point, the, the pudding's not the do. point. The point is, he was taking my pudding off me. And I just thought, nah, I'm not having it. I don't care. You're not getting my pudding, that's it. So I've grabbed it and I've gone, no, mate. No, you're not having it. He was like... <sighs> why, why? <laughs> Give me a pud, pud. <laughs> <laughs> Proper, do you know what I mean? I knew he'd do it. I knew he'd have come in, throwing his bloody weight around. That's been number one. Mm. He were like that before he went in. Now it's yeah. frigging changed at all. I'm going wait. I'll tell you a bloody story in a minute if you don't shut your mouth. Is it all right? What was that for? What is? What is? Hurry up. Oh, well, love, yeah. He's all thought of as a right fucking horrible, horrible, horrible little bastard the other day, didn't he? Well, I'm saying all the racist stuff. Like, okay. I don't want to be here. Tell it to Wood, man. I was fucking horrible, wasn't I? You let me abuse him. And what did you do? What did you do, Wood? I didn't do anything. Sorry, mate, can't hear you. I didn't do nothing. Exactly, he didn't do nothing, didn't do fuck all. Neither did any of you. Yeah. Not one. And that was fucking wrong. Milk. Honest to God, I'm really glad you came here today. And I mean that, mate. I really mean that. And that's, do you consider yourself English or Jamaican? Answer yeah, right, dude. Jesus Christ, this guy. English. Was, 
And what are they fighting for? What are they fighting against? Fucking shepherds. Shepherds with fucking Shut rocks and little Falklands. rifles. Right? Tell me the truth. No, come on, tell me the truth. I just fucking... That's it. God damn. My fucking dad died in that war. This kid don't have a fear. Yeah, get off. Fucking hell, mate. I'm sorry. Oh, fucking shut sorry, up about sorry, it. Sorry. I'm sorry, mate. Kid don't give a shit. I'm sorry, lad. Man. Fuck. It was a bit quick, wasn't he? I ain't been fucking brainwashed, combo. I listened to fucking Sigmund Void there. Eh? You're well out of line. Well out of line, man. Come on, lads. Let's have you. Come on, then. I'm sick of you, Woody. This is why I'm staying. Because you're always taking a piss, making me feel that fucking big. He's put things into perspective. Look at the other night. You didn't step up once then. Sean? Come on, man, we're off. Come on, Sean. No. Come Sean, on. man, you can't fucking stay here. Sean? He's just a kid. The things you've said have made him want to stay. Woody, I want to make my dad proud. He's in the way All right, we'll see you later, mate. You, you fucking fuck look after him, do you, mate? He's stay. Look after himself. To prove that. Oh, see you later. Dude, oh, his no. mom's gonna kill them, dude. Oh, no, no. They'll leave him there with a crazy cat. No, he's fucking certainly not like you. No one's ever fucking suck a swing at me like that. Really? Honest. Honest. It's like looking in the mirror. 20 years ago, when I was fucking 12. Taking swings at big men. Spit. It's a man's handshake, though. Don't matter what their ethnic background is, I welcome open arms in this country. It's the people who think we owe them a living. Yes. These are the people that need to go back. Yes! Join our band of brothers. Sign up today. Thank you very much. Yes! And we're going to have a word with any You got a problem then, or what? No, I've just got things on my mind, combo. Wait, what? Well, like, what can I ask you something? And, like, do you really believe in all that shit, combo? Fucking ever! Ever! Undermine me again mm. in front of my fucking troops. Do you understand me? God bless him, dude. I don't want him to say that. The dude already seems like he's like, you know. Alone. Get me hundred fags. Two bottles of wine, a bottle of whiskey, and ten cans of lager now. You know what you're gonna have? Nothing. What? You know you're not supposed to be in there. Go out, bang. Just fucking get him, you packy bastard. Picking on a kid, mate. Fucking hell. Picking on a fucking kid, was it? Yeah? Hey? Take what you want to go, OK? Shut up! I'm talking. I'm your fucking size. Fuck with me. Listen, good. We'll be back here whenever we want, right? Cos this is fucking ours now. This is ours, this fucking sandy. Don't forget that. Any fucking time we... And clean the place up. It fucking stinks, Akuri. Fucking stinks. Freaks of the fucking shit. Happy. 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 Happy birthday. 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 Smell. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Let's have you. Come on, let's have you, folks. You have a good biff to you, darling. All right, lovey. We're sorry to be missioning it off. Oh, you getting off? Nice one, mate. Right, you look after You're yourself, right. you. All right, treasure. I would, uh, See you till bit. I mean, I don't know what's going on with those two, but there's some real tension. I can sense some real tension between them. Were you happy when you saw me? Yeah. I liked it when you gave me that cake. I thought it was cool. This might seem a bit daft, but will you be my girlfriend? Yeah, I'd love to be. Be really nice. So I've been thinking about it as well, but I didn't think you'd ever ask me. I thought it'd just be like a one time off in the shed or whatever. Say to me. Oh, look, can I just have fucking three minutes with you? No, I'm going to fucking work. I'm not your fucking counsellor combo. Come back at dinner time, then. No, don't come back at dinner time. Well, I'll come to yours later on or something, or? <sighs> You're coming to mine. You can have two minutes now. You've got two fucking minutes, all right? OK, it's sad. I've done nothing but try and forget about that night combo. I mean, it was, it was beautiful. No, I was 16. 
I was pissed off my head. It wasn't beautiful. Send it to a crazy dude, man. Come on. I love you, bro. Broke the maniac's heart and gave back his gift. How's this gonna go? God bless him, dude. God bless him. Kind of similar to Michelle, if you think about it. I don't know, really, if I'm being honest with you. Ah, oh, that's fine. It's not because I'm smelly, it's just Michelle and smell. Right. Purely because it rhymes. Well, it sort of rhymes, doesn't it? Does it rhyme? Return of Arthur <laughs> <for Wrexham. laughs> Grab it. I do what I do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh, wow. What's he doing there? I don't know. Huh? I'm not. What you say, mate? How you doing? Nope, my name. There's only chance you can get me any weed. If you want to smoke, do you know what I mean? Are you joking? What? Oh, fuck you, you selfish bastard. Damn. Oh, man. Women. <laughs> Shit down, looks. That's good. That means we can all get stoned. I know time's gonna take That's it, man. We're like brothers now. Yeah? Serious. For life. Yeah, for life. Yeah, I just, I just oh, What's this dude doing, man? Like this, he's he's looking weird. It's been a long time. Which one many uncles have you got? Um, I've got three uncles and two aunties. It's a big family, then. Yeah. A couple of my uncles and about seven. Fucking hell, you've got everything you, haven't you? What? Fuck, dude. The whole lot, haven't you? This dude just wants to fight so bad. You don't fucking smile at me. You don't smile at me. Yeah, you fucking Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus Christ, this dude's out of his damn mind. Cool out, bro. That dude's just laughing. Shut the fuck up, get the fuck out now! I want some of this. We want out of it. This man. Ah! Fuck, dude! He's fucking up, He's fucking up, he's fucking up! Jesus, this dude's out of man. Well, he's been crazy the whole movie. What? Fuck up, you fucking dick! I'm fucking throttling you, you fucking fat piece of shit! Get the fuck Jesus Christ, did he kill him? Poor kid, man, getting exposed to this shit. Is he gonna actually take this guy to the hospital, man? Was he gonna like just dump him somewhere? Mm, yeah, that's really nice. You really look alike on that one. Do you remember where we were in that one? Dude, what an amazing movie. This movie is fantastic, dude. All right, because I'm about with names, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the cast here. I like when he first met up with the gang and stuff like that, dude, and Woody, you know, kind of took him under his wing and stuff, and everybody was just really cool, dude. All the acting was cool. It was very heartwarming that they kind of took this this kid who lost his dad and stuff and made him part of the gang and everything, and I thought that was really cool. And for the first part of the film, my biggest worry was for some reason they are going to drop him, stop hanging out with him or something, and then the kid would be heartbroken again. I'm like, oh, dude, that's going to be tough to see, dude. The kid lost his dad and stuff already. He's going to lose his new friends. And when his mom, like, pulled him in there, I'm like, dude, this is probably going to go sour. They're going to probably drop him because it's, like, too much of a hassle or something. That's what I thought was going to happen. 
happened. Things continued to go well until, you know, Combo showed up. That was the next dresser, you know, because I didn't know when this dude was going to lose it. Like, yo, dude, this is intense. This dude's like rallying the troops, man, for like race riots and stuff. That's what it felt like. I thought it was going to go in a direction where they're out there like, you know, just harassing and beating the shit out of anybody who don't look like them. I thought that's route that was going. It was a little more subtle than that dude, like putting knives at kids and threatening the guy at the shop and stuff, but still very intense, man. Whenever Combo was in a scene, he made me so uncomfortable. Like he, Stephen Graham, he just did such a good job playing this role, dude. Like he just did such a good job of keeping things tense. Like every scene he was in, I'm like, this guy, even when he was happy, I'm like, he's gonna do something crazy. He just did a good job playing like a crazy guy. I was really worried he was gonna hurt Woody's girlfriend. Lol, I thought that was gonna happen for sure. I thought he was gonna rape her or something crazy like that. Like when he first saw her, I was like, oh, you grew up and blah, blah, blah. And how he kept looking at her, stalking her, essentially. I was like, this dude's gonna do something terrible. I was like, whatever he does, I'm not ready for it. I didn't know what he was gonna do because every moment felt tense. Like, I didn't know if he was gonna beat somebody up, cut somebody, stab somebody, rape somebody. Just because the dude was so intense, man. He did a really good job. And when he first started rambling about the racist stuff, and he threw out the racial slur, and he panned the camera over to Milky, and I was like, dude, it's going to get intense. Is he going to try to fight this guy? And every time he was in a scene with Milky, I'm like, what is he going to do to Milky? Is he going to try to kill this guy or something? Even at the party, I felt like the goal was to get your guard down. Like, oh, everything's going to be okay. He just asked for some weed. He's kind of down. Milky got him some weed. They're bonding over music and stuff. And even in that scene, I was still uncomfortable. Like, like I don't know how this is going to go sour, but I know it's going to go sour. And still, man, it still jolted me when he, uh, when he was beating the crap out of him none stop like he wouldn't slow down at least we know milky's okay because mom said he's gonna be all right so he did actually take him to the hospital and just dump him somewhere and maybe combo turned himself in because he seemed genuinely like sorry and upset he just went into like a rage um not only attack milky but attacked his friend things definitely got out of hand man still wondering how old this girl was uh smell like how old is this girl <laughs> Compared to this kid's age, you know? We used to do that in Gary with abandoned houses. Because there's a ton of abandoned houses in Gary. Like, you can't go down the street without there being an abandoned house. Sometimes four streets are just ghost towns. With nobody living in it all boarded up and stuff. And we used to go into abandoned houses. Usually looking for stuff. But my brothers, everybody used to break stuff as, as well. Like, you know, crack and sinks and all that. That's what they were, when they were doing. I was like, yeah, we used to do that as kids. We used to shoot each other with BB guns and stuff too. I was just always afraid to break stuff. I was When I was a kid, I, didn't, I took some risk. But not as many as, like, my brothers and my friends when it came to stuff like that. I don't know why, like, being in a abandoned house already was, like, bad enough. We shouldn't have been there. But adding break and stuff on top of it just, I don't know, just stressed me out. I was a weird kid. Don't judge me. And when he was in the car with Lowell, I thought he was going to, like, punch her in the face or something, dude, and rape her or do something. Because the dude tells her the whole story about him being in jail and that night meant so much to him and she got him through the three years and she just go 